Right now, many people in Bastrop are getting the word about when they can return to the neighborhoods they had to flee because of the wildfire. County officials announced a short time ago they would post their plan to let people back into the evacuated areas around noon today. That's big news for the more than 5,000 people forced out of their homes. I believe that official list of phase one will go up at 2 o'clock today. Let's get the latest from Jared Weiss, now live in Bastrop. Jared? There were dozens of people, a dozen evacuees in the background listening to this press conference just a few minutes ago. They are doing a partial re-entry in the next two hours. And once again, it starts at 2 p.m., but that's also when they're going to release the map of these locations. A majority are along the fire, the entire fire link from Page area all the way south to the Tahitian village area. They will start slowly removing barricades in areas that were not affected by the fire. These are people, these are homes that were not touched by the fire and are safe to actually re-enter. Parts of that include parts of Highway 290, 1441, Highway 71, and once again in the Tahitian village area. They do say that the power may still be out in many of these areas for these residents that are returning. They are not also they are also not enforcing who goes into these areas because once again these are areas that were not touched by the flames. There's no concern that much of looting in these particular areas as well. And they are, once again they are We'll start removing those barricades and also pushing those barricades back as well. Now, it's all about safety for how they're doing this. This is phase one. There will be a phase two at some point as well. There are still hot spots in the fire zone. It's still 30% contained in the most volatile areas in the Alum Creek area, which is in the southeast part of the fire zone. Now, 35,000 acres have burned. 1,386 homes are still destroyed. That number is expected to rise from what we understand from our press conference earlier today. About four 400 homes have been listed at, uh, from addresses and are posted on the convention center also online to allow people to know exactly which homes were destroyed at the time. Now, as we said, power remains out for many, for over 4,000 customers. Now, we also don't want you to forget about the Union Chapel fire as well because the, all those evacuees have apparently been allowed back in to their homes, at least the homes that are still there. There are 28 homes that were destroyed in that neighborhood. That fire is over 90% contained as well. But once again, the big story, the big bass drop fire, a partial re-entry will begin here in the next two hours. As soon as we get those maps, we're going to post that online for you as well so you can be able to track it. And for the residents here, many of them, some of them actually a little angry because some of that does not include their neighborhoods. But again, this is phase one. There will be a phase two as well. And once again, we're going to have all that information for you, and we're going to follow some of those so the people in as they go in for the first time in the, next, in the last five days, some of these people. So keep tuned to KXAM. We'll have the latest information for you. We're right. live in Bastrop. Jared Wise, KXAM News. Jared, Talk thank you, you for that. We look, back, look forward to phase two getting announced and getting phase one and two on the website and everything else, get these people back in. And as you mentioned, too, a lot of them returning to no electricity, mm -hmm. no water, no running water. But as we heard Mike Fisher say, it's better than being what you, where you are now, which is in a lot of these shelters. So some folks will go back to no electricity and no water, but at least they're in back in their homes. Could be two weeks before they have electricity or water My again. My goodness, yes it could. All right.